Welcome to the Yin Yoga version of the snail. This video will guide you through the snail, which is the Yin Yoga version of the plow. You will be in the pose for about five minutes, but please do listen to your body. If you need to come out earlier, please do so. There are a few different stages you can try to get into the snail. So we'll begin with the easiest position. And that's to simply lift your hips up and have some sort of support underneath your hips. You can use a bolster or some blocks. Allow the knees to be a bit bent and just let the legs hang over your head. And remember, this pose is not indicated for anybody who has high blood pressure, an eye or ear infection, glaucoma, diabetes. Many women during their moon period prefer not to invert. Or if you have neck issues, or if you just don't feel like going upside down, this is not the pose for you to do. Instead, just do the caterpillar. For those who feel they can go a little bit deeper into this pose, lift the hips up and support your hips in your hands, allowing your legs to just dangle over your head. Don't worry about whether the legs are straight or knees are bent. The targeted area in this pose, remember, is the spine. So you want to feel this along the back. So again, it doesn't really matter what your legs are doing. For the more flexible students, they can lift the hips straight up over their shoulders and perhaps bring the feet to the floor behind them. Or if your feet don't quite reach the floor, you can rest your feet onto a bolster. Find the hand position that works for you. Easiest is to support your hips with your hands. If you're balanced, you can just let your hands come down to the floor behind you. Or if you're more flexible in the shoulders, you can try clasping the hands together and do the little wiggle to come onto the shoulder blades. As always, just start with the easiest position first. Find that first edge, and then become still. Allow your body to adjust to this shape. When your body opens up and you feel you can go further, you can try straighten the legs a bit more, bring the feet closer to the floor. If your edge has receded even further, another option is to bend the knees. Try to bring the knees towards the top of your head, or if you're more flexible, bring them down beside your ears, perhaps holding the back of the legs. This is a very deep rounding of the, the back now. Breathing here can be a little bit challenging, so continue to work with a nice, easy ocean breath. Four count inhales, a little pause at the top of the inhale, a four count exhale, with a little pause at the end of the exhale. When it's time to come out, we want to come out with some support. The more flexible students can hold the feet. 
and keeping the legs kind of straightish, slowly start to come down. And you're holding your feet like brakes. If it's not easy for you to grab the feet, keep holding your hips and slowly allow yourself to come down. And it's normal that the head might come up. That's okay. When you come down, just pause for a few moments. We've asked a lot of the spine now. So just rest here with the knees bent, feet on the floor, palms on the stomach. The snail is a deep flexion of the spine, and for some, a very deep flexion of the neck. So we need to move the spine in the opposite direction as a counter pose. We need to come to extension. An easy way to do it is just to come over onto your belly and just do a flying boat. Just lift your chest off the floor, lift your head up. Another option is to do a cat, focusing here on the upward facing cat. After a few moments, you're now ready for your next pose.